Thank you so much, Deputy Secretary Began, for that incredibly gracious introduction and for your steadfast support of women's economic empowerment at the State Department and around the world. I'd also like to thank National Security Advisor Robert O'Brien, Deputy Administrator Bonnie Glick, and Ambassador Kelly Curry for joining us at today's event. The success of WGDP and our new announcements today would not be possible without your strong leadership and dedication. We thank you. I'd like to further recognize our private sector partners who are joining us today remotely. These include Walmart, MasterCard, WeConnect, and the Reliance Foundation. Public-private partnerships are a key component of WGDP success as they ensure long-term sustainability and scalability of our programs. A combination of impactful programs, a whole-of-government effort, and strong partners is having a major impact. I'm proud to share that in the first two years, the WGDP Fund invested $200 million across more than 60 countries around the world and catalyzed more than $400 million through more than 450 partnerships with the private sector, non-governmental and local organizations, as well as government, country governments. Additionally, today we are releasing interagency WGDP legal reform action plans, responding to the President's directive to address the legal and cultural barriers to women's full and free economic participation throughout the world. This is the type of bold action to expand the efforts of the federal government, the private sector, and other partners that restrict women's ability to participate in the local economies that has been the American model for success. WGDP will reach 50 million women across the world by 2025 through three key WGDP pillars. Enhancing workforce development, expanding entrepreneurship, and critically, ensuring economic equality for women under the law. The U.S. has prioritized this work through WGDP, the first ever all-of-government approach to helping millions of women achieve their full economic potential. This critical work is now more important than ever as the world seeks to recover and rebuild from the pandemic, which has adversely affected women. Since launching WGDP less than a year ago, more than 12 million women have benefited. Today, I'm pleased that WGDP Fund is announcing 122 million in new partnerships and programs with unbelievable reach and potential for impact. This year, the WGDP Incentive Fund has already invested $34 million in 16 new activities across 43 countries. One of our Incentive Fund partners is here with us digitally today. Thank you to Walmart and CEO Doug McMillan for your dedication to facilitating market access for women-owned businesses in Guatemala. Building on commitments towards Pillar 1, we are now launching Round 3 of the Women Connect Challenge a $4 million challenge to support private-led efforts to bridge the gender digital divide. We are excited to partner with Reliance Foundation and founder Nita Ambani on this newest round of Women Connect Challenge Funds in India. We are also announcing a new $5 million partnership with Microsoft Airband that will work to extend high-speed broadband internet connectivity in developing economies to millions of women over the next three years. Thank you to President Brad Smith of Microsoft for your partnership. To continue our investment in entrepreneurship, we are pleased to launch the $23 million WGDP Investment Women Portfolio, which will work to promote systematic reforms in financial systems and encourage private sector investment in women through innovative blended finance approaches. We will also continue to work regionally, partnering, for example, with MasterCard in Colombia to approve access to markets and networks by equipping early stage women fintech entrepreneurs with the direction needed to connect to MasterCard's wider network. We'll also be partnering with MasterCard to empower women-owned small-scale retailers in India to become part of the digital economy. Thank you to my friend CEO Ajay, one of WGDP's earliest advocates for the partnership. To further build on these investments, we're expanding our partnership with WeConnect International and developing a multilingual and multifunctional artificial intelligence platform to connect women-owned businesses with markets and investors. 
We have always viewed WGDP's Pillar 3 legal reforms as foundational and are committed to evolving and expanding our efforts on this front. Programmatically and building on WGDP's legal action plans, we're investing $7 million in the WGDP Women's Land Rights Program to strengthen women's land rights in Malawi, Mozambique, Ghana, Zambia, and India. Finally, we are continuing to advance women's economic empowerment worldwide. Pillar 3 efforts through the launch of WGDP's Grand Challenge, Women Enabled in the Economy, is a multi-year effort that will grow in its goal of bringing together the most innovative ideas and partners in women's economic empowerment. The activities we've announced today offer just a glimpse of the life-changing and society-shaping work that WGDP is doing around the world. The Trump administration is proud to have developed the WGDP initiative, and we applaud all of our partners who continue to prioritize women's economic empowerment and implement WGDP.